Hello and welcome. My name is Shoba and I'm with Just Go Places. Here we talk about food, travel, and all things food and travel related. So today I wanted to talk to you about our recent trip to St. Lucia, where we stayed at the Harbor Club, which is a curio collection hotel by Hilton, and what we thought of it. The pros and the cons of both the rooms and the pool area. So uh, stick around if that interests you, and uh, let's get going. So here we are at the Harbor Club Curio Collection by Delta. And you can see the fantastic pool and Rodney Bay Marina in behind it. So we start with the um, clean stay sticker, which is great, and all very nautical blues, a uh, sliding glass door to the bathroom on the left, and you go straight through, there is room for luggage and a writing desk and actually for sitting as well. And here we've got hey, a lovely coffee maker, and it's a double bed here, but I do have pictures of a single bed if you're so inclined. Take a look at that. Two bathrobes and uh, yeah, a balcony to sit out on. Uh, I don't think you'll be seeing sunsets from this balcony because it's facing the wrong way, but uh, it overlooks the Hilton Properties Diving Center and uh, the main highway into town. But hey, can't have it all. We are back to the room again. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. All very clean and modern. I like the crisp blue and white with a splash of coral that they have done as the design. And yeah, it is subway tiles, but not the standard subway tiles. It looks more handcrafted. Blue and off-white again with an inset. And the bath products are Noir. Never heard of it. It's probably the Hilton Company standard. And uh, yeah, big shower head. And the vanity is nice and modern. There's a privacy scheme screen for the toilet and a ladder rack for your towels. Nice white fluffy towels. The hair dryer is the, you know, stuck to the wall thing. So it's not like you could have much of a choice in, um, in, in moving your head around. And, um, but on the plus side, it's so hot here. I can't imagine anybody would want to use a hair dryer. And full length mirror, which as we all know is very important for going out. And back in the room, we have, I forgot to point out, safe. Presumably this is the mini bar. Yep, with tea and coffee. And let's see, what's the situation with the mini bar? Oh, empty, but both coffee, mate. I guess you could bring your own stuff in and they won't charge you. So that's it. It looks like a um, nice room and the best part of this property Without a doubt that we've seen so far is that magnificent pool area, which we're going to go and enjoy in a minute. So this is the hotel part that you can see, and it's a relatively small hotel with about 113 rooms, I believe. And there are eight rooms on the bottom that had a uh, pool attached to it, a little swim pool. And then that connects on to the regular pool landing area. And there are um, three restaurants. Uh, uh, Julia's down here and then the pizza place and fine dining up on top. You could see the um, glass windows and a sushi bar uh, on the other side. So I guess technically that's four. 
Um, Julia seems to serve from both the sushi and the pizza place. It is um, also a conference center, so you can see the rooms up on top over there that have the curtains, the aqua curtains. That's a giant room, that ballroom, that can be made into uh, two smaller rooms, and they have conferences, they have uh, weddings and parties up there too. Uh, on this side, there is a cabana, private cabana area, and I will show that to you later. There's volleyball, which absolutely no one is playing. I have not seen it in the few days I've been here. And the swim up, swim up bar, though, is super popular, as you can imagine. Uh, I think people come here to chill, but if you wanted to play hoops or volleyball, it's there. The waterfall is really special too, and um, it gives you a really nice back massage if you stand underneath it. And there's a little hidden area behind it you can just hang out and um, see the waterfall and the rest of the pool complex, but you know, they can't quite see you. It's uh, the secret room. And next door to that is the jacuzzi. And it's a small jacuzzi, but perfect for the, uh, for the hotel. As you can see, as promised, I am bringing you the cabana pool, which is uh, for cabana guests. But you can use the rest of the pool as well. It's got an infinity ledge onto the rest of the pool and the marina over there. Let's see. And the cabanas are here. There are six, six cabanas. And we are in Rodney Bay, which is the middle one, and it's got tons of fun, which is why I'm in the water, because I'm hot. Um, they're named after local landmarks, Pigeon Island, Grosie Bay, Rodney Bay, Marigot Bay, Soufriere, and Piton. If you like shade, Piton is the way to go. And Soufriere is not bad either. And then they get progressively sunnier as you go, and because the sun just the way the sun follows the pool. So I filmed most of this video on site at the Harbor Club. So apologies for the sound quality. Some of it was filmed in the water with my GoPro. Overall, we really liked the Harbor Club. It was a, it was a great hotel with an even better pool. As with all things though, there are some negatives and some positives and we thought we'd just outline those for you. And remember, if you like the video, to click like and to uh, subscribe if you want to hear more about travel related things. So on to the positives. Um, first things first, that pool area was fabulous. The Harbor Club is decorated in fairly harmless navy blue and white and some aqua thrown in. So it's contemporary and modern, but, but fairly inoffensive and most people like the decor. There's nothing too weird or strange about, you know, the furniture or the decor. So chances are you will like the atmosphere. What we really loved and what was an unexpected surprise in the room was that we received a bottle of champagne and a whole tray of chocolates. I believe there were 12 each of uh, truffles, uh, ganache, ganache filled truffles, as well as my favorite, cherry filled truffles. So um, one night I just went up eating a whole load of chocolates and that was my dinner. Not necessarily the healthiest, but it would have been a shame to let those uh, chocolates go to waste. There's lots of other amenities too, tucked away discreetly into the hotel like a spa and a hotel gym. And I know the hotel manager told us that they were expanding the facilities to include things like a salon and a children's area and a cigar lounge. The Harbor Club is in a great location. It is right off the main road into town and right past the Rodney Bay Village area, which has tons of um, facilities catered for tourists, uh, including restaurants and bars, as well as the really nice Rachel Beach. And if you go a little bit further past the Harbor Hotel, you get the marina, and 
as well as the town of Groselay and Pigeon Island and some of the nice hotels up in Kapistat. So it's really well located for the north of the island. And we found that having a car, the parking was super easy. Harbor Club also took any health issues very seriously. Every day we had to get our temperature checked and then you got a colored wristband of the day that let you wander around the hotel and everyone knew that you had been checked and it was um, super easy to do. And uh, it, it worked very well. We were also very happy with the food at the Harbor Club. They have a pizza joint, they have a sushi place, they have Julia's, which is both traditional and contemporary fair, you know, international. So I was able to try a goat curry, which I hadn't had before, but then we ordered pizza for lunch another day, sort of. Just some of the things we particularly did not like, but you know, it wasn't that big a deal. One of the big cons was that there are not enough sunbeds in the pool area. People, even though most of them seem to be British, seem to do the German thing where you go and put your towel at break of dawn. So like by 8.30 in the morning, we noticed all of the, um, the beds, sunbeds had towels on them and they would just leave them there all day and then they'd go in and out and nobody removed any towels that uh, had been lying around for hours and unused. So like you could claim a spot and keep it for the day and whether or not you were there. <laughs> and there were not, there were not enough umbrellas to um, cover the area either. So if you got yourself a great location, it was yours for the day and everybody else uh, had to suck it up. And considering the pool area is a sun trap, it, it did get hot during the day and it would have been nice to have more shade and more more loungers or at least have the um, ones that were seemingly unused after a period of time have those towels removed. In other places where we had the problem of you know all the loungers and the shade being um, taken up we would have to use cabanas. Uh, Harbor Club does have cabanas and, um, and uh, you could reserve a cabana for the day but as it is now it is free but we found that the cabanas were also straight in the sun. So um, it wasn't all that different from being anywhere else in the pool and you didn't get anything else extra. So of course they're free, but even those were not great. And another thing that annoyed us is that the Wi-Fi did not make it into the far reaches of the pool area. And the Wi-Fi by the pool, by Julia's and the entrance was excellent. But then the further away you went, the less it's the signal worked. So um, you could be by the cabana and have zero Wi-Fi. I've heard the management say that the Wi-Fi has been an issue so maybe they'll fix this and it won't be such a big deal. But another thing by the pool area that we found was that the music was really, really loud. It sounded like Caribbean EDM. Uh, I don't even know if they do Caribbean EDM, but it was definitely a loud music. Really loud. <laughs> So if you had engaged in one too many sugar drinks, uh, like a St. Lucian rum punch the night before, and at 10 in the morning, you're here just hearing this thump, 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 it, it can hurt. <laughs> uh, that's all I gotta say on that. Noise canceling was needed. <laughs> it didn't bother me as much, but uh, my friend that I went with loves the beach. I, I don't care one way or another. I'm happy with the pool. But it is, you need to remember that, that the Harbor Club faces onto the marina and it is not on a beach. You need to drive to the nearest beach, which is probably Red Bee Beach, which is, you know, like a 10 minute drive. It's not that far at all. And um, if you are a beach lover, then that's where you go. But otherwise, um, you're facing into the marina. It's not beach fun. I also need to point out that you do not get sunset views from the hotel. It's just the way this, the hotel is facing and there's like a mountain ridge uh, to the side of it that blocks the setting of the sun. You can see bits and pieces of orange and you know, the glorious Caribbean sunset peek out from above, but um, you don't actually see much more of it as, as the mountains obscure the view. 
that's it. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Harbor Club St. Lucia, which is a curio collection managed by Hilton Hotels. And I hope to see you again soon. Remember to click like and to subscribe and thanks for watching.